following Tyler police detectives searching for clues after a transgender woman was shot to death early this morning. CBS 19's Risa Morris has been learning more about this woman and the search for her killer. Police identified the victim as 24-year-old Tyrone Lee Underwood. But on social media and to her friends, she was known as Ty. Investigator Sage was found shot shoulder. to death early this morning. Jonathan, and tonight the FBI is digging deeper into the murder of a transgender Wayne State University student. Now investigating it as a possible hate crime. Was killed on the north side of Detroit last week. Transgender woman of color has been murdered in the United States, this time in Philadelphia. The victim is London Kiki Chanel. communicating with these men because these men are killing these men are killing us they are killing us extraordinary moment in the world of sports tonight. Nearly 40 years ago, Bruce Jenner, all muscle and grit, burst into the national consciousness while capturing Olympic glory. And tonight, Caitlyn Jenner, draped in a glamorous white dress, having recently become perhaps the most famous face in the transgender community, received a major honor at the end. And something that I left behind When I leave this world I leave no regrets leave something to remember so they won't forget I was here I lived I loved I was here I did I've done everything that I wanted and it was more than I thought it would be I will
a trans person takes is an act of revolution. Today we gather because one of our sisters have fallen. Another one of our sisters has been denied her right to move, her right to breathe, her right to thrive unapologetically in her truth. My heart is with those who love and cherish God as Queen Sister, Leela, as who she professed to be. My heart is with every trans person who has been denied their truth by a system that is designed to erase us from the face of this earth. My prayers are with all trans youth who feel that they are alone and that they have no hope for their future. Leela Alcorn was a young trans woman from Ohio, not far from where I grew up in Detroit. She was only 17 years old when she took agency over her life and decided it was not worth living. What message are we sending our young people? I said, what message are we sending our young people? I am here to let them know that their lives have great purpose. That each and every one of them are loved, are important, and their lives have tremendous value. I am here to let you know that our lives matter. Now you parents, let me get on you. You parents that do not accept your children for being trans and or gay, you are going to bust hell wide open with gasoline draws on, honey, and you're gonna fry like motherfucking crackers, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Because you hoes have put these kids here on this planet. Your duty was to love, raise, and respect your child. It is not sometimes our decision on, on what it is that we wanna be. It's not our fault, it's not our choice. What you have to understand, some of you parents, and I'm gonna say this and I'm out, some of you parents that are homophobic, or you people that walk around and y'all don't have no kids yet and you scream out about he gay, she gay, this one gay, using all types of racial, excuse me, all types of slur, gay slurs and, and faggot and, 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 and tranny and motherfucking homo, all the, all the nasty slurs that you use against gay people. Be careful because your children or child may turn out to be that same transgender or that same homosexual who you bad mouth them. Be careful the words that you use because, sweetie, they will turn around and bite you in your ass. Transgender female. My name is Sydney Starr, and I'm a, you know, kind of well-known transgender female. So I have a very, very important topic I'd like to hit on today. And it is about our straight heterosexual men, gay because they like transgender women like myself. The answer to that is hell no baby you're not gay yet that i mean i will get to the let me get down to the jesus yet that i mean like there is nothing gay about liking a person that is attractively built look like felt like all that like around her, her surgeries mm -hmm. which is fine but i also think there is in order for straight people that are not trans to know us to know about us they have to be able to ask questions and get everything out of the way. Yeah. So so anyway. So yeah, I'm I agree. answering. Well, those this questions. is why I want to <laughs> ask you this question. So I I just said transvestite, which I guess is a horrible, terrible no, thing to say okay. by your reaction. It's tell okay. me, tell me the difference between transvestite, transgender, transsexual. Yeah. Tell me. So tell transsexual me. is the overall medical term for being transsexual or transgender. And I'll get back to that. I'll just get transvestite out the way real quick so we don't never go back to it. Why transvestite is, it terrible... is a psychological term for Straight men, straight, straight as you could be, okay. that get sexual gratification out um, of dressing as a woman. Mm. Putting pantyhose on in their room alone, playing with their wife's underwear, that is a transvestite. Got it. So, And that's fine. I mean, uh, And it, if that's what you are, that's fine. That's your business. But she's not one but of those. But she's not a transvestite. Okay, got Being it. transgender, and there's actually been medical science. This, it's so like, it's and it's so crazy, because it's like, if you call a Dominican Puerto Rican. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> uh, right. It's if you call a transvestite, a transsexual, right. a transvestite. It's, yeah, it's, uh, a, it's the same, or a drag queen. Oh my God, they'll lose their mind. Because a drag queen is just somebody who it's performs, performer. dresses it's up. It's a performer. Okay, drag queen performs transvestite is a man who's like straight usually right no like, it is straight i mean straight, that's the definition that they get that they're got it and they like to wear their wife's panties yeah once you're not straight i don't <laughs> think transvestite applies you're just a you know you're in and out of drag you're, okay you're, transgender transgender is the term 
for anybody. Now, I don't want to confuse y'all yeah. because, and part of this, I'm giving you definitions. I ain't write them. Okay. The transgender is the entire umbrella of everybody that is gender queer, meaning a little different than what a boy or girl should be. 99.9% .9 of the times, transgender are referring to transsexuals, mm -hmm. trans people that physically go to change their body. But being transgender can encompass butch lesbians as well. Okay. Very effeminate gay men, mm -hmm. people that gender bend. Mm -hmm. That choose to even in our so urban, that's like a vaguer term, exactly. right? It's and again, it was made up in the '80s, I believe, as a clinical term. Okay. The word transgender didn't even really come into the pop popular. So, but transgender is not offensive. If I made a mis no, made no. mistake, and if you say "erd" transgender, like you know, who cares the grammar or the semantics, whatever. But yes, transgender oh, erd matter. is whatever. What? <laughs> okay. And so, and then transsexual is when you make changes to yes, yourself, and if that's a one pill you've taken of hormones or you got silicone injections or you got surgery. Any, okay. any, really what it tries to define is the people that get the diagnosis. And, and I'm, you know, that's another topic and I'm glad to talk about it now. A lot of people feel that we should have gender identity disorder removed from the DSM-4. And I disagree with that. Okay. Because of our social uh, what we have in common with gay people and lesbian people and the movement, We've been grouped together so sternly that people kind of don't realize that there are differences. Gay people should not be in the DSM-4 because what it's not. What is the DSM-4? The DSM-4 is the diagnostic manual that clinicians, mental health clinicians use to diagnose all types of mental diagnosis. And in the 80s, being gay was removed and rightfully so. When you're in this book. There is the diagnosis. Oh, because it's like saying being crazy, like or crazy. Some, or not something, necessarily crazy, But yes. me, something's mentally off with you if or, you're homosexual. Or, yes, exactly. So but, but so being a transgender now is here's still the in deal. there? But yes, but I'll tell you why, and it's okay. And and I'll and I'm I'm appreciative of this platform to make this statement. Think about what we'd be asking as trans people. So wait a minute, Mark. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I read an article in the New York Times about a woman who died in a fire. Her name was Lorena Escalera. And her death was a tragedy. But what shocked me was not the manner of Lorena's death. It was how the Times chose to write about Lorena's life. The article said she was curvaceous and was known to invite men into her apartment. The reporters went on to say that she was, quote, called Lorena, as if Lorena was not her name. Lorena was a transgender woman, just like myself. And she was stripped of her dignity. I spoke out alongside many of my transgender sisters who saw the article as a slap in the face to girls like us everywhere. GLAD joined us in taking the task times to task. And the paper responded with a rather weak statement. I'm on this stage tonight because Lorena was much more than the demeaning, sexist portrait the Times painted of her. But until the media treats trans women with respect, society will continue to see us as less than human creatures to be gawked at. And because violence against transgender women is escalating, that shift needs to happen now. GLAD has called for a meeting with the Times, and tonight I'm joining GLAD in making that call. The New York Times needs to set an example and let readers know that steps are being taken to ensure that an article like the one written about Lorena will never be written again. Lorena was a daughter. She was a friend, she was an artist, and she was a role model to many. And she deserved better. We all do. If you see dehumanizing or anti-LGBT stories in the media, take action by speaking up and reporting it at glad.org slash report defamation. Together we will hold media accountable 
when their words and images fail to fully encompass who we really are. Thank you all so much. Have a good night. <laughs>
my horizons Come out from the dark and open up my eyes And start to define my destiny